Today we're at the Motorhome and Caravan Show at the NEC in Birmingham. Yes, at this year's Motorhome and Caravan Show, we saw there was quite a lot to see, especially many European motorhomes and some new family layouts in the caravans. So coming up in this video, we shall go through some caravans we've seen with some really good family layouts, some camper vans, and some motorhomes. But first, after years of enjoying our caravan, um, we are actually thinking, not necessarily, but just thinking about selling it and getting a motorhome. And the reason is we've not used the caravan as much this year, and we would like to do some touring and we're thinking that a motorhome might be better for doing some touring rather than have to tow and set up and tow and set up. Now there's limitations obviously with a motorhome, it's harder to just nip out to the shops or drive off somewhere to explore, but we, 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 we're tempted to have a look and, and think about it because um, obviously the kids are growing up and we want to try as many different things before they get older. So. We are looking at some campers which are easier to get around in, some C-class motorhomes and some larger A-class motorhomes which give more space. We've not decided yet but we've got a couple of favourites and that's coming up later on in the video. But first let's look at some caravans. So now we get onto the caravan that we bought, the Compass Casita 586. This front bench area's useful seating area converts into a double bed. This middle seating area is also useful and that converts into two bunk beds. And at the back of the caravan we have these two fixed bunks. Now they've changed the layout slightly from when we bought it. Now you've got a much bigger wardrobe at the back and instead they shifted the bathroom over to the side and I think these little tweaks to the layout has actually improved it. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you like the uh, Compass Casita 586, the Explore 586 is exactly the same layout and slightly cheaper, except this is a slightly uh, lower spec than the Compass version. Uh, for example, you don't get the microwave oven. Now this is the larger twin axle Compass Casita 868. It's a bit more expensive and it's a bit larger to tow. It's got a slightly different layout in here. Now one of the things it's got in the middle of the cabin here is this shower, which you're a little exposed in if you're having a shower in it, but there are doors to close it off. Now a new design for this year is having the fixed bunks and a fixed double all in the same bedroom. So if you want to sleep together, that's great. If not, it might not be so good, but uh, that's a new design for this year. Now, of course, camper vans are much smaller for the average family, um, especially if you've got large kids, they can feel a bit cramped, but they are very practical, and which is why one of the reasons we are considering or thinking about um, a camper van. You can go to a lot more many campsites with a camper van. Um, many places that don't accept caravans and motorhomes, only tents, will accept small camper vans. Um, you can also go down smaller lanes, you can travel um, relatively much faster than if you're towing, certainly. And um, they're very practical because once you get to the campsite and you set up pitch, if you want to go out for the day, you just simply hop in a van and drive off. Now, of course, you can make some extra space by getting a drive away awning. Now, if you're not familiar for these, these are almost uh, like a tent that you stick on side the van. So you get a lot of extra space once you're pitched. But you can simply detach that from your van and drive off for the day leaving that pitched in place so they are very practical if slightly smaller some of these larger vans of course come with all mod cons this westphalia conversion even pops out the back to make a large double bed in the van and they some of them even come with toilet sinks and showers um, so some of them are um, very very well equipped of course they are also very expensive and you could even pay more for a really nice van conversion than a larger motorhome so there's lots of pros and cons to consider Now this camper van had a, quite a few features. It had a big drop down double bed above the living space, something you see on larger motorhomes, and a fixed double at the back of the bed too. Obviously toilet and sink, and a very ingenious space saving design for the shower. So here's the shower cubicle built in there. 
but when you shut the door, built into the door that goes into the shower is a separate cupboard and there's your wardrobe. Very clever little idea to save some space. So now we get to the camper van that uh, we felt suited our family the best. This is the Weldax Solaris XL. It has two fixed bunks at the back. It's very well specced out. Fridge, freezer, microwave, bathroom with sink and shower. And the actual layout felt very much like the caravan. So for a van sized um, vehicle, this was very very good we thought it very well specced out and it, it really split the balance of living space sleeping space and traveling so now we get on to motorhomes and there's a few things you need to consider now obviously the price range of these varies quite considerably you can go from motorhomes that are cheaper than many camper vans right up to huge expensive motorhomes and a lot of them are fit out really to be like a luxury yacht that you drive around uh, the country in um, so why are we considering a motorhome well we like to consider all sorts of things but there's a couple of really big reasons we're finding that we're not spending too long at each individual campsite. There's too many places we want to go, too many things we want to see. And we're thinking that a motorhome is perhaps more suitable for just visiting a campsite, spending a night or two, then off to another one, visiting a night or two, then off to another one, visiting a night or two. Now, of course, we can do that with a caravan, and we've done that with the caravan, um, but there's a lot of packing up and towing and packing up and towing. Of course, you still have to pack up a few bits and make sure it's safe to travel in a motorhome before you head off. The other thing is that we go from place to place and we'd like to bring a lot more adventure gear with us. Some of our inflatable canoes, our bikes, um, and the garages on some of these motorhomes give us that little bit extra storage. Now we've taken these before with the car and the caravan, putting things in the car, um, loading stuff up, putting where we can load things in the caravan. Um, but it's just a lot of shuffling around gear all the time and it'll be a lot easier to take it with us. We've used a motorhome before and we just took it for a, one of the um, forest mountain biking trails and it was great because once we got back to the van we could clean ourselves up, we could make ourselves a drink because with a motorhome you take your water and your power with you which means that you've got options to stay at places uh, that doesn't need an electric hookup um, such as when you've got a caravan. There are of course things you need to look out for. Um, many people if you've not got the right driving license you might need to do uh, additional driving tests to upgrade your driving license to uh, drive one of these larger heavier vehicles on the road and you do need to bear in mind what the chassis weight is so it's all very well having a, a garage at the back of one of these motorhomes but if you cannot put a lot of gear in it because you're at the maximum chassis weight then that's not going to be that helpful layout is a lot of bound to personal preferences um, there's a lot of convenience with fixed double beds in these but of course that takes up a lot of living space in your motorhome 
Um, there's often a lot of storage you could put under a fixed double bed, but if you've got a family, you might want to consider that that may be a luxury too far to have a fixed double bed permanently in the middle of the floor um, because it will lead eat into your living room space. The other thing is these are a lot bigger. Now you can get smaller slimline motorhomes and uh, there's a few of those that we like, but generally they are larger. So we've gone from looking at the smaller C-class motorhomes that are lightweight and just really a bit bigger than a camper van, right up to the large A-class, which uh, is really like a, a, a converted coach. Although you do get smaller A-classes now and we find in the A-classes do have a lot of space in them but you are restricted to campsites. So obviously a campsite's got to have the facilities to take a motorhome and ideally you want a motorhome service point in there so you can uh, uh, refill um, your motorhome. But also a lot of campsites are down small narrow country roads. So you get similar restrictions as you might do with a caravan, um, sometimes a bit more if you've got a really large motorhome and uh, especially if you've got things like canoes stuck on the top. You're also quite restricted when you do get to the campsite in terms of your days out that you can go on. So at the moment we bring our caravan or our tent to the campsite and of course we then got the car to go off and explore places. Now this is what we're seeing is one of the big drawbacks of if we got a motorhome. Now we, whatever we do with motorhome, caravans and stuff we will still continue camping with our tents. We love camping with our tents. So. For those more remote places for us, we will definitely still take a tent. But of course, if you've just got a motorhome, then um, you are restricted to the days out there. So obviously you can get large motorhomes where you can tow cars, but at the moment that's not for us and that would kind of defeat the purpose. Um, you can also take your bikes. And so if you plan your campsites and touring round, well, it's easy accessible within bike ranges and close to footpaths and beaches and stuff like that that should not be too much of a problem and some places do have larger car parks where you can take a motorhome in and use that but you obviously need to plan and check ahead.
Now we really love these European A-Class motorhomes. They seem to have a really good layout and a very, very competitive price. But one thing you'll notice, even after they've had a right-hand drive conversion, is that the driver door doesn't open. Instead, you'll have uh, some windows that slide typically and uh, a weird storage thing to your right. And if you want to get out the door, you basically have to get out through the main door on the motorhome. But, you know, all adds to the character, I think. Now we get on to one of the favorites for us, and that's this K yacht. Now a dealer near us has got one of these second hand, uh, unfortunately much cheaper, but what's good is this back area here has a very large seating area, so you've got living space, and above it a bed comes down. So you've not only got a bed that simply drops down at the front, but you've also got bed that drops down at the back too. And you've also got room on the sofas for people to sleep too. So it's got a really big living space, quite well specced. And it's got two doubles that won't need making up all the time. we get to the favorite in the show if we were given a bunch of money that we could just spend um, I think it will be on this motorhome from French brand Florium it's got the layout that we like and it's finished to a really high standard we were really impressed with the quality of this van big living space at the back with a TV and a bed that comes down so we've got a space for people to chill out in the back there we're not on each other's uh, in each other's space all the time and we've got a bed that drops down we don't have to make up all the time plus it doesn't have to come all the way down people can sleep on the sofa as well so we've got a lot of different sleeping options and living options with this space it's finished to a very high standard there's lots of bits and pieces in it so yeah we were very impressed with this motorhome 